So it's our last few days here in Alaska before I have to head back to work for a week and then we head back to Colorado and do some skiing. Uh, we are at the Glen Alps Trailhead. coming out here as it's been snowing and there's kind of a fresh sheet of ice under that and then there's this yeah that's a moose track there's a moose here there's some sort of hair here you can see his back hoppers but there aren't back hoppers on those so I don't think that's a rabbit I don't know I freaking don't know how to track animals but Probably not something we need to worry about today. So there's that at least. Not really lost. Just off the map. Make the blue dot go back to the red line. Ha ah. ha. Okay. We've discovered on our hikes through Alaska, that everything that's rated moderate for trails up here actually means balls hard. The hike that we thought we might do today is moderate to difficult, which means go up this peak, there's a little flag at the top, go up this peak and, and that's your moderate to difficult. So needless to say, based on the weather, based on our unfamiliarity with avalanche conditions, we're gonna do, do it. it. Oh, we're not. We're not doing that. Not doing I it. think that ridge looks avalanche based off, you know, my eyes. So we're going to schloop around Blueberry Mound or whatever this is. Maybe go a little ways on that trail. I'm not ready to head back in. On a side note, we realized after we took the wrong trail and then had to make our way back to get on the right trail. And Justin made a comment about how being my friend is kind of dangerous, um, which is true. All of my friends when I was a kid, they always got hurt because I took them maybe a little too far or a little too wild and something always transpired to their detriment. I was fine. Justin is the first person that meets my level of danger and or exceeds it and is always ready. He's the only one, knock on wood, that has not yet suffered peril. Mm. <laughs> We're not periling this time. We're not taking the peril route. We're stopping before peril. As a slight counter to that, Liz has also been the victim of her own affinity for danger. When we were in South America, I suggested that we buy motorcycles and ride across Colombia and Ecuador, to which she was down, had only ridden once, and, you know, fell 12 times in the first couple weeks, I guess. We all survived, it was all good fun, but uh, sometimes it works both ways. Somehow we're now on the trail that we said we weren't going to go on. We have to be quiet or we'll wake up the avalanche. I want to keep going. And if we were outfitted differently, then I would say let's keep going because this is so beautiful right now. But the snow is really thick and wet. We don't have gear if things escalate. And I also don't know how risky this is. People have been on this today. That's obvious, but there's also fresh snow over their tracks. So, mm, I just don't know enough to know if that's safe or not. I'm getting the feeling I had when we were on the bear trail in Catch McBay, which is, let's turn around now. But man, if I could just hike off into this forever, I would. Made it. Minimal adventure, beautiful falling snow. We're back to the trailhead. Justin's back on his leash. We're good. 
just kidding